What's happening, everybody? Good morning. Happy Monday to you. Wanted to jump on here this morning and just uh, talk about a couple of things that are going on for me that I thought might be beneficial uh, for everybody else to discuss as well. So we'll give it a couple seconds here for some people to jump on and uh, we'll start talking about how to get motivated after a holiday weekend. You know, everybody takes off after a holiday weekend, right? So uh, how do we get back on track? What are, the, what are the things that you do? What are the disciplines that it takes to get people uh, back on track, focused and motivated after a long holiday weekend? And so, um, you know, that is, uh, you know, everybody talks about long holiday weekends and uh, don't take the whole weekend off and this, that, and, you know, listen, I, I worked, you know, most of this weekend here and there, uh, but <clears throat> in full transparency, most people don't do what they normally do uh, on a holiday weekend. So how do you get back on track after a holiday weekend? Uh, the, the, the secret sauce is pretty simple. It is that you wake up in the morning and you immediately uh, start to take action on the week and that's the only way that you can create momentum and motivation is to start checking things off your list and uh what's happening Mauro? good morning kim uh you start checking things off your list that's how you create momentum right so the first thing that i did this morning was you know print out my to-do list that is how i roll uh good morning grant jennings what's happening man tom came good morning uh just you know i i work off a to-do list every single day and so i created um, a to-do list for myself, start writing everything down. Uh, we've got our team call here at nine o'clock, so I'll hop on that. We'll start to, as a group, put a list together of what exactly needs done, what was hanging out there from last week, all those types of things. And then we start just checking it off. Uh, for those of you guys out there who are uh, leaders, I would highly recommend that you take some time this morning to check on your team's list. So, you know, what's out there. Good morning, Dina. How are you? Uh, what's on your team's list and how can you help those people uh, get motivated for this week as well? Because remember, a lot of people look at weeks like this and it can seem overwhelming because they've got a lot of stuff hanging from the week before. They feel the weight of that because they haven't quite delivered, uh, you know, on all the things from last week. I know that, you know, there's a bunch of things. Friday was a rough day. We, we worked uh, as a company but a lot of people didn't. So we were unable to accomplish what we really set out to do on Friday uh, because there was a lot of people not working. So it slows down our performance. And so people feel the weight of that, right? They, they get some anxiety, some pressure coming into this week uh, because of the lack of uh, performance from last week. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Great service yesterday, Michelle, by your husband. I've been sharing it uh, with everybody. So uh, Michelle is the wife of the pastor at my church and yesterday's service was phenomenal. So if you guys get a chance, go over to Vic Victory Family Church on Facebook and watch that service. It was phenomenal. Uh, but at any rate, uh, make sure that you guys take that pressure off of your team, you know, kind of help them get organized and put some direction to the group, right? So make sure that the group has a singular vision and that's how you really uh, get the train moving down the tracks quickly after a holiday weekend. Uh, the leader will always set the pace for how the week goes. And so make sure that you take the time to take the temperature uh, of everybody on your team and kind of how they're feeling, uh, what that looks like from a team perspective and how you can get the train moving down the tracks as quickly as possible. But I would highly recommend everybody use a to-do list or some sort of organization to just get a visual of exactly uh, you know, what you've got on your plate to start the week and also to be able to start to check those things off the list because that is the easiest way for everybody to start to feel accomplished and start to feel and create the momentum that it takes to create a successful week. So, um, you know, just jump right in, take massive action and make sure, uh, good morning, Carl, what's happening, man? Um, you know, make sure that you're taking action right away. If, if you're not taking action right away, you're going to start to feel like you're not accomplishing stuff. And so the mental piece of that is going to start to get you uh, and you'll feel the, the pressure of, of not performing versus the, the, the success and the momentum of starting to be able to check things off of your list. So uh, Carl likes to say, own your, control your morning to own your day. 
Uh, and that is a very uh, important thing to do, right? It's, you know, make sure you get up, make sure you start to take action, you start to create the momentum, and uh, you'll be off to having a great week. Uh, the second part of this live video is, you know, 2019, I just pulled it up, I Googled it to make sure I knew what I was talking about this morning. It is 51.5% gone. So when you start to look at, uh, you know, what were your goals at the beginning of this year? And then how do you kind of line up to those goals right now? Uh, the biggest thing I will tell you is uh, I worked in, in a corporate setting for a long time. And the one thing that always happened in a corporate setting, which is, it's funny to me now, it's not really that funny uh, because people do this on a regular basis. But if you're not where you want to be uh, to your goals, so, you know, as a company, we are a little bit behind. We had some aggressive goals, but we're behind where we, where we really want to be. But we will not adjust that goal. We will take some time today to discuss where we're at, what the gap is, and what we need to do to be able to close that gap. Because uh, what would happen in corporate America is everybody would adjust their goal down to make them feel more comfortable, right? And that is uh, absolutely not something that you want to do. That's not how you progress in life or how you grow or how you become more successful. Uh, it's a way to give yourself an excuse of how to lose uh, with dignity. And, you know, you, you never want to adjust your goals in the wrong direction just because you're falling a little bit behind of where you're at. So just, you know, take some time today. This is really uh, a great week to take the temperature of what the first half looked like. Everybody should have all their numbers and, and things in front of them of, uh, you know, exactly what you did the first half of the year. And then just be honest with yourself. Were we successful or were we not? Did we do the things uh, that were necessary for us to create the results that we uh, set out to do. And if you didn't, then now is a great time to, to you know, redirect your activities and all the things that lead to those results that will get you closer to or get you to that goal. Again, falling short of a goal that is aggressive uh, is a lot better than hitting a goal that is adjusted. So whatever you set out to do at the beginning of the year, there's a reason why you chose that commitment. Uh, so do not change your goals because you're falling a little bit behind. You got to double down on activity to close the gap of, of where you're at and, and where you really want to be. And uh, do not measure yourself based on performance, uh, just specifically to how you did the first half of the year. Measure yourself to what you're capable of and your, and your true potential. And uh, you know, I am uh, excited, you know, had a great vacation. Judd is on here. Good morning, man. Down with Judd and his family in Anguilla. We got back uh, midweek last week, so Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Uh, worked on Friday, got some stuff done this weekend, but I am pumped uh, to have a, an opportunity to rock the rest of this year. So I hope you guys are as well. I just want to hop on here this morning and encourage some of you guys to just, you know, this is a great time of year to take your temperature and really see exactly where you're at. Uh, you know, for me this morning, I was just, you know, doing some reflecting on the first half of the year and, uh, you know, just evaluating. And there's some wins. There's a lot of wins from the first half of the year, some real success uh, that we've created, uh, that I've created personally. Uh, but at the same time, uh, there are some things that I know that we could be doing better. And so uh, we're going to evaluate that. We don't overreact to it. We just evaluate it, talk about it. Uh, put some things on the table of how to, you know, steer the ship in a different direction for those things that we need to adjust. And uh, we get to work and we take action. And that's uh, that's the way that we're going to handle the rest of this year. You know, uh, they say handle it like a professional. Right. So just take it in stride. Realize if you have big goals, you're going to at some point you're going to fall short of those week to week, day to day, month to month. But overall, as long as you're moving forward, as long as you have a lot of uh, momentum and, and positive things happening, uh, then, you know, be thankful for that and be grateful for that. You know, if I look at the first half of this year, I have so much to be grateful for, uh, for the progress that we've made, for the team that we've put together, for all of those things. Uh, but at the same time, there's a balance there of, of being grateful, but realizing where you're at and what you need to do to, uh, to make sure that you are absolutely chasing down your true potential. So uh, good morning to everybody. I hope you guys have a killer week. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these live streams 
Um, I've had a lot of people reaching out to me kind of uh, pointing out that I haven't done them lately. So I'm going to get back to it. Got the podcast coming soon. The book is almost finished. Uh, I've been working diligently to get all this stuff done. Trying to juggle it all is not easy, uh, but I'm learning as I go here. So stay tuned. A lot more coming here, guys. But uh, appreciate everybody that jumped on this morning. Hope you guys have an amazing week. And uh, as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Glenn Lundy, what's happening? I'm going to be on that guy's show right there this week, and I have a feeling that that episode of his show is going to be explosive. So I will add in the comments a link to his group. It is called Hashtag Rise and Grind. It will be on at 5.30 a.m. I am actually not sure what day it is. So, Glenn, if you want to drop that in the comments there, what day we're actually doing that show this week, let me know. I don't have anything else on my schedule at 5.30 a.m. Uh, so any day is clear for me at 5.30 a.m. Glenn's the only guy I know that's crazy enough to have a show at 5.30 in the morning. So, But it is an awesome show. He's an incredible guy. Uh, and you guys should follow him and check out that uh, private group, Rise and Grind. So, uh, But I will be on that show this week at some point, and I'll be sharing a lot more uh, of this kind of information to you guys. So uh, good morning, Paula. How are you? I haven't seen her in a long time. We used to work together in corporate America. So great to see you. 5.30 a.m. Friday morning, bright and early. Rise and grind with us this Friday. So, uh, But appreciate all of you guys jumping on here. Have a great week. If you have any questions or you need help with anything, DM me. Uh, drop a comment here, and I'll be happy to connect with anybody that needs uh, anything. So here to help. Have a great week, guys.